Hello everyone, welcome back to U.S. Military Summary. Today we will discuss the T-90MS, an export version of Russia's T-90 main battle tank, often referred to by military experts as a battlefield monster or ferocious tiger. This state-of-the-art tank is a key component in Russia's modern military arsenal. It is considered to have no worthy opponents for a considerable time to come. On the other hand, the M1A2 SCP System Enhancement Package is an upgrade package and the most advanced version of the M1 Abrams main battle tank, which the United States military currently uses. The M1A2 SCP was developed based on the technical platform of the M1A2, but features more advanced and modern technologies. These two tank models have always been a particular interest to military experts and are often compared and tested against each other in terms of technical and theoretical aspects since their inception. After many improvements, as of now, if we assume a one-on-one -on -one battle between these two versions without considering any other factors, which tank would be more capable of destroying its opponent? To clarify this issue, let's examine each aspect in detail. The Power of the Main Weapon in Tank Warfare the tank's main gun is a crucial factor in determining its effectiveness, with the caliber of the gun playing a primary role. A large caliber means a greater firing range, heavier projectiles, higher muzzle velocities, and greater kinetic energy. As a result, the penetrating power and destructive capabilities against targets are increased, with the primary goal being to maintain a firepower advantage. Russia has chosen this design approach for their tanks to be prepared for direct confrontations with Western forces. Furthermore, a large gun caliber allows for the use of various ammunition types with high armor-piercing capabilities, as well as guided missiles that can be launched through the main gun barrel. To date, Russian tanks maintain an advantage in terms of gun caliber. The largest caliber currently in use on tanks is 125mm, which is the caliber of the T-90MS. Firepower The T-90MS tank is equipped with an upgraded cannon that features an improved projectile trajectory. The tank's cannon is stabilized in both evaluation and azimuth planes, and thanks to its digitalization, it offers high accuracy and faster turret rotation. Russian tanks are generally more compact, with a lower profile and lighter weight, compared to their western counterparts such as the M1A2 SCP, which has a 120mm cannon. The T-90MS has a small, low and lightweight turret that does not store ammunition or have a carousel-style loading system. Its powerful engine and compact design enable it to maintain accurate firing at maximum speeds, allowing it to shoot on the move. Additionally, Russian tanks have a separate guidance system for anti-tank guided missiles, ATGM which allows for quick reloading. As a result, Russian tanks can engage targets at speeds of up to 60 km per hour, while Western tanks can only do so accurately at 20 km per hour. In their tank designs, the Russians prioritize practicality, focusing on tank-to-tank -tank combat, or at the very least, designing their tanks to engage enemy armor without compromising their design for any other requirements. The smaller size of Russian tanks reduces their vulnerability to enemy fire, decreases their surface area, and allows for increased armor protection, lighter weight, and better mobility. The compact design also contributes to increased stability, enabling larger caliber cannons. As the primary ammunition for defeating enemy tanks, the M1A2 SCP uses armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding Sabot APFSDS rounds with depleted uranium DU penetrators. These DU rounds offer several advantages over the tungsten rounds used by the T-90MS, such as when penetrating enemy armor, DU rounds create smaller, deeper holes while maintaining their arrowhead shape, while tungsten penetrators deform into a mushroom shape. Additionally, DU penetrators experience less air resistance, resulting in higher speed and accuracy compared to their tungsten counterparts. However, many military experts believe that the armor-piercing capabilities of the M1A2 SCP's rounds are still inferior to those of the T-90MS, based on penetration tests against rolled homogeneous armor RHA. Similarly, the T-90MS's high-explosive anti-tank heat rounds have evolved compared to those used by the M1A2 SCP and are now widely used. 
These rounds are designed to counter explosive reactive armor ERA systems, while the M1A2 SCP is just beginning to adopt this technology. Fire Control System One of the most advanced features of the M1 Abrams tank is its fire control system. This system allows the tank to destroy targets at a distance of up to 1,850 meters with a single shot while moving at speeds of 40 kilometers per hour. In particular, the T-90 MS tank has been equipped with the new Kalina fire control system, which integrates a cutting-edge sighting device capable of locking and automatically tracking targets. This feature helps gunners avoid having to constantly follow targets while the tank is in motion. Additionally, the T-90 MS is fitted with an automatic loading mechanism, ensuring greater combat efficiency and an advantage over the mechanical loading of the M1A2 SCP. This contributes significantly to the power of the Russian tank, with a high firing rate of up to 8 shots per minute, even while on the move. Within these features, the T-90MS is unmatched on the global stage. Stealth in Modern Warfare In today's world, the classic features of tanks such as mobility, firepower, and armor have become secondary, as advanced technologies now play a primary role including stealth in terms of noise and infrared emissions. Stealth technology has been increasingly valued and has effectively become one of the main technologies for enhancing offensive capabilities and survivability on the battlefield for tanks. The M1A2 SCP, for example, utilizes a gas turbine engine, which although does not emit black smoke, produces more noise and heat compared to traditional diesel engines. On the other hand, Russian tanks are characterized by their compact size and reduced surface area, which decreases the chances of being detected on the battlefield. In the case of the T-90 series, Russian designers have successfully implemented structural solutions to diminish the effectiveness of enemy reconnaissance equipment. The combination of camouflage that blends with the environment and thermal shielding around the engine compartment makes the tank more difficult to detect by infrared and optical devices thereby reducing the likelihood of being hit. Additionally, the T-90MS is equipped with an auxiliary engine that operates when the main engine is shut off to minimize heat emissions, making it harder for infrared detection devices to capture the tank. Tank Defense Capabilities In addition to equipping tanks with protection systems against radiation, biological, and chemical threats, as well as fire suppression and mine clearing capabilities, one of the most important requirements for tanks on the battlefield is their ability to defend against the enemy's dangerous anti-tank weapons. There are currently two trends to improve tank survivability, passive and active protection. Passive protection mainly focuses on increasing armor's resistance to projectiles. This includes the use of thick steel layers and secretive combinations of advanced alloys, such as depleted uranium combined with modern compounds and plastics. The steel armor of the M1 Abrams tank is an example, as its use of depleted uranium alloys combined with synthetic plastics increases the steel's hardness by 2.5 times. However, increasing the thickness of the armor also means increasing the weight of the tank, reducing its mobility. The frontal armor of the Abrams tank is made of 100% raw armor, without relying on ERA, and is covered with an additional layer of lead foil. Instead of increasing the thickness of the armor, researchers have developed explosive reactive armor to counter shaped charred projectiles, combined with active defense systems. Russia leads in this trend, exemplified by the T-90 tank series. Combined with the smaller size and reduced surface area of Russian tanks, this has helped reduce the likelihood of being hit. The armor is made very thick, yet the overall weight remains light, significantly improving combat effectiveness. The structure of the T-90MS's front armor includes three layers, a thick steel plate, an armor cushion, and a thinner steel layer. The protective effectiveness of this layered shield is 40% better than that of the M1A2 SCP's equivalent homogeneous steel armor. From the beginning, the T-90 was equipped with an active defense system comprising the TSHU-1, Stora-1 Electro-Optical Countermeasure System, KOEP and the Arena Interception System, considered one of the best tank defense systems. Meanwhile, the United States has only recently started testing or equipping similar systems such as Quick Kill or ANVLQ-8A. Furthermore, the T-90MS's active protection capabilities 
have been significantly enhanced by the installation of sensor devices around the turret, providing an alarm when the tank is targeted by laser-guided weapons. This is a strength of the T-90MS that the M1A2 SCP does not have. Final Conclusion As we analyze from the beginning, the M1 Abrams tank was not designed for one-on-one -on -one tank battles with its contemporaries, such as the T-90. This suggests that, compared to the M1A2 SCP, the T-90MS is a more versatile tank with robust offensive and defensive capabilities. Featuring powerful firepower, high protection, and superior mobility, the T-90 has a clear advantage when compared to the M1A2 SCP. One could say that the T-90 is a rare combination of combat features, firepower, protection, mobility, and ease of control, and technical characteristics.